Hey guys, it's Chase here with Total Value RV. We have the new 2019 Tuscany 45 MX I'm going to show you today. Um, it's on the Freightliner chassis with the 450 horse Cummins on it. It's, uh, it's a beast. So starting off right here on front, you got your chrome mirrors here. You got the uh, side view cameras integrated right there. Um, also on the front, we're putting a, uh, a, a clear skin on the front just to protect it, protect your paint. Any rocks come up, it won't, it won't chip it. Uh, you notice right here, this is exclusive for the Tuscany. It's a 60 degree wheel cut with the independent front suspension on this thing. It allows you to get that extra five degrees to really help this thing you know, maneuver around. So uh, our entry door, notice it's a little bit wider. Going in and out, so if you're carrying your, your groceries or your luggage, uh, it's just easier getting in and out of the thing. You see we got the Gerard entry on it right there with the LED lights on it. Right here we have your uh, keyless entry. You can lock and unlock your entry door right here as well as your storage compartments. Uh, you got the, here's your fuel fill and you have it on either side so pulling up to the gas station. Also too, notice it's above the belt line here so a lot of them will be down here and they don't fill as properly or as well as when you raise it up. All right guys, wanted to show you the outside real quick. We got the new Gerard integrated awnings. Um, you get almost the whole length of the coach for shade space. They also have the wind sensor built in, so on windy days, if it you know bounces those up and down, they'll automatically retract themselves in. Uh, it's cool too, because they're just one touch. You touch it one time and you can walk away and it'll fully retract itself. Going back here in our first compartment, just a little storage compartment there. We're doing a uh, white pebble grain. So in low light conditions, it's easy to see. You also have a light in here. And uh, we're not putting any carpet or felt material in here that'll, you know, if it gets wet, mildew, have an odor, or anything like that. Here we got our outdoor television with the sound bar. Comes in handy if you're tailgating or wanting to watch the game outside. Here's our, our big pass-through storage compartment with the motorized slide-out tray. This thing will hold 800 pounds and it, it goes out either side. So if you're on the other side, you can slide it over there. Also, our basement in this thing, you can control the temperature of it individually. So cold weather camping, you can control the temperature of your, of your storage compartment down here. This is another pass-through bay. You don't have a slide tray, but if you wanted to, that's something you could add in. We have uh, a couple 110 outlets here, and then also your, your Dirt Devil Central Vac. So come out here, and that's where you, where you empty that. <clears throat> this next compartment here is your fresh water tank. Just a secondary gravity fill there, and you can take this panel off if you need to get to it with your tank sensors. Um, I believe your water filter is back in there, and all that fun stuff. You got these nice big bright docking lights you can you can turn on. So if you need some extra reverse lights, uh, also you got some on the back. I'll show you in a second. You can turn those on to get some extra light if you're hooking your car up. All right, so here we got our def tank. We have our uh, Magnum Pure Sign inverter right there, and also you got the charge controller. We do have a, a solar panel already equipped on the roof, so that'll keep a, a charge to your house batteries. So when you store the thing, you don't have to worry about them ever going dead. Here. Is our batteries here? These are our engine cranking battery. That actually, I'm sorry, they're they're the house batteries. We got the six volts in here. There's one, two, three, four. Going back here, we have uh, with the new Tuscanies. They're going with the side radiator, so it allows full engine access back here. And I don't have my keys, or I'll open it up for you. But you can get all to your all to all your filters. You can check all your belts. Full access to your engine back here. Versus if you had the rear radiator, it would be blocking that. It's harder to get to. Um, so back here, you got your 15,000 pound hitch. You got the seven way plug integrated with your with your rear cap. Just a nice clean look there. If you look up, you see you got your backup camera. And earlier I mentioned the extra docking lights you can turn on to light it up back here. Uh, for some extra light. All right, over here, like I said, it's a side radiator. You put it over here, that allows you full access to your engine over there. Right here we have, this is your remote fill for your DEF tank. So when you pull up to the pump and you're putting diesel in it, and then you got to top off your DEF, once again you can go to either side. That way you don't have to flip around. Alright guys, this next compartment, this is our wet bay here. You see you got your full house water filter. If you look up in here you have your water pump. It's easy to get to, it's not hidden in a cabinet somewhere. Um, you also have your uh, gray and black tank dump. 
you have your outdoor shower here with hot and cold water. Here's your, your black tank flush to clean that out. And then we also have the Anderson valves here. Um, when you winterize a thing, you get to bypass it right there instead of hidden valves up in your cabinet stuff. Also with your water, plug it in right here and select either tank fill or city fixture there. You also have a, a bigger fresh water tank dump, so instead of those little low point drains, you can turn that and it'll drain out a lot faster for you so you're not waiting all day. Also too, if you look, at they put this panel in here, they drop it down so if you do have any accidents, you spill some stuff, it's you know down in there, not in your, in your compartment up here. This is just the other side to your uh, pass-through storage. You see you got your power cord there. It is on the electric reel for you. All right, here's our other side to our pass-through storage here. Like I said, it, it does roll off the grid. That's the ladder for our overhead bunk you'll see inside this All right, guys, in the front compartment, we have our Aquahot, the 400D right here. So instead of propane, this is replacing that to produce your hot water and uh, your heat for the coach. So going up here, here's your other side for the uh, your diesel fill, fill, and then up in our front compartment, we have our hydraulics. This can be for your slide outs and your leveling system. Um, notice too, all your lines are color coded, so if something fails on you, it's very easy overridable, so you can get back on the road and enjoy your motorhome. All right, right here you got this T handle. You pull that, and it unlocks the front here. You got a secondary latch right here. This flips up, and then you have your, your generator here, and it's on the slide. So if you need to service it, change the oil in it, anything like that, you can. Uh, you also can start it out here. It's got a little gauge right there to show you how many hours are on it. Um, also, you got your windshield wiper fluid in there. And then uh, if you look up in here, you do have a little air truck. That'll produce about 75 PSI for you. So, you know, if you need to air something up or take an air hose, blow something out, uh, you can do so. So, we're going to go in here. We're going to show you the inside, what it looks like with the slides uh, closed up. And then we'll open up and have a look around. All right, so you see with the slides in, you can still get to everything. Walking back, the, the sink, the kitchen, your fridge. Uh, as well as your half bath right there to the left and then also you can get back to the bedroom so you see with the slides in you still have access to everything you need and uh, you know have plenty of room while you're going down the road so let's open the thing up and see what you alright alright guys we got it all opened up here uh, I'm gonna have my cameraman take a seat up front here we're gonna show you a couple things in the cockpit so starting from our left we have the uh, where you control your jacks with the auto leveling then you have your Allison transmission shifter there um, we do have mirror heat adjustable mirrors and you got a couple switches here um, here's where you turn on your docking lights cab lights service light you do have a, a two-stage engine brake here and then you can manually dump your tag if you want to and then uh, you do have the, the foot pedals that move also you have the smart wheel here so you can turn your windshield wipers on your brights and then you have the cruise control and then if you look on the dash here, we've got a, a total value RV exclusive with the mileage. Uh, most of our, actually all of our new units are under 100 miles. You see this one only has 51. And that's because we're located right here by the factory. And that's why you buy them where they're built. Up here with your gauges, they give you a white background on them so it's easier to see. Um, here we have the nice Ram McNally screen with the GPS built in. And with the Tuscany, you do have the, a key fob with the push to start. So you don't have to have the key to start this thing. Here we have a generator start. Here's your sunshade up front along with your nightshade. And then you also have a switch right here to where you can lock and unlock your compartment doors on the outside. Both of our seats up here do swivel around. Uh, the passenger seat does have the foot rest so you can kick back, relax, uh, and enjoy the ride. And let's go on back here and we'll show you the, the house part of it. So, right, so Oh, up here above our driver's seat, we got this overhead bunk. You know, with it up, if you're not using it, it's not an eyesore, kind of incognito. But if you bring someone along, it's nice to have because um, you put this down and you don't have to mess with your dinette or couch every night and every morning. You saw the ladder outside in the storage compartment earlier. Um, but you could use it for storage if you want. And like I said, it's just nice to have if someone does come with you, you can stick them up here. And so we have these nice theater else. seating right here, um, right across from your television, so you're not looking one way or another you're just looking straight ahead 
A lot of storage in here. They give you as much storage as possible because this is the type of unit you live in or if not spend most of the year you know, on the road or camping somewhere. All of our windows are going to have the day and night roller shades here. You got a lot of counter space in the kitchen. You have the, the roll out countertop extension. And one thing this does is allow you to have these nice big long drawers. Storage, storage, storage. You have the power deck here. Pull this up. You got three outlets so you don't have to run your, your cord up to the bottom of the cabinet. Just a little bit more storage in here. Your sinks. We got a stainless steel sink. It's a uh, square style. I think it looks pretty cool. Sharp look to it. We have the induction top. Like I said, it's an all electric coach. No propane on board. Uh, residential size microwave. This is also going to be your convection oven. Down below here we do have a dishwasher. Make life a little bit easier for you. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to start. skip over to this side. You do have the booth dinette, so I mean it's nice you have the extra sleeping capability if you need it. And once again, just storage everywhere you look. These are deep cabinets. Put all your food in, dishes, stuff like that. We have your ensemble here with the couch. Um, this does pull out and make a sleeper. It pulls out and then it has the air bed that flips up and, and blows up on top of it. And then you already saw your TV with the sound bar. If you want the window, you put your TV down right here and you got a nice big window of your, of your campsite there. So you got a nice view of the lake, the mountains, nice big window in your living room. Alright. So we talked about the aqua hot for your heat. You also have uh, three ACs in this one. They all three have heat pumps for your electric heat. You also have a fireplace. This is going to put off a little bit of heat for you as well. So if it's you know just chilly in the morning, you can turn that on. It'll be you know enough to take the chill away in this room. Um, going back right here, you have your your control panel. You control everything in the coach from here. Uh, your, your tank level is where you turn your aqua hot on. Uh, you turn all your lights. You got a master on and off switch. They're all dimmable. You can control your fans right here, your, your slides, your awnings. This is nice too because they're all color coded so you know exactly what you're putting in or out. Here is our, our half bath right here. All solid surface countertops throughout. You have a little bit of a medicine cabinet behind the mirror there with the vent fan. Alright, across from that you got your nice big residential fridge right here with the freezer down below. You have a nice pantry, they have top and bottom pull out trays here for you. Going into the bedroom you have your stackable washer dryer, the Whirlpool. And then for privacy for your bedroom you got the pocket door here, it has a nice little treatment on it. Looks pretty sharp. Alright so going back in your bedroom here, you do have a king size bed. Uh, what's cool about it, you have it on the, uh, the tilt of view so you can sit up, watch TV if you want to or lay it down flat. With it flat you still have pr plenty of room to uh, walk through right here to get to your back bathroom. Uh, so once again storage is everything. Open the TV up. Storage back there. You got this little hidden compartment there with some outlets. Your DVD player. HDMI router. Little dresser drawers down below. I mean these are real long and deep so you fit all your clothes in here. This is going to be a wardrobe. Also has an adjustable shelving there if you like that. Three drawers down there. We have another pocket door so you can close off the bathroom back here. And one thing about your bathroom, it's a part of your slide out so this is one of the bigger bathrooms I've seen. But if you look, you got the double vanity sink with plenty of storage, medicine cabinets. A little bit of storage right here with the drawer. Cabinets down below. One, two, three drawers right here. And then you have your full wardrobe closet back here in the back. They put the little cubby holes, cedar line there. Alright, right here you got your tub toilet with the macerator on it and then a huge shower with the tile surrounding. It does have a little seat in it. Make that nice and you got this nice home residential style shower header. Alright guys, so that's everything on our 2019 45 MX. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know uh, or give us a call, 574-262-4460. Um, you can email me at chase, C-H-A-S-E, at totalvalurv.com and uh, let us know what we can do to help.
Have a good night.